Hello everybody, it's Lindsay from The Checkered Pony. I'm just gonna adjust this a tiny bit. Hello, it is the month of July and I have been busy going through all of my subscription, subscription shipments from Knit Crate. I'm um, trying to get a couple wrinkles ironed out with that. So far, gorgeous yarn has come my way. I'm still waiting for my artisan crate to arrive. I haven't contacted Knit Crate yet. I'm hoping that it's just an oversight that they're just, maybe they printed my label and then it just is waiting for a box to be slapped on or something. It's been like four or five days that it has said that my item is ready. It's shipped, shipped, but it actually, ha it hasn't actually moved anywhere. Um, I got notice with my other knit crates the same time and they've already arrived and that one is just kind of sitting somewhere in limbo and I really want it so I hope that it will arrive soon but until then I just have to be happy with the other things that I've gotten so I have ordered because for the month of July because knit crate has been they've been moving warehouses and they've been kind of just having a, a go of stuff. Um, just a rough, rough run of luck recently, but they have had some pretty amazing sales on their website. And so I picked up a couple little hanks of yarn because I found a pattern that I really wanted to use with them. And so, um, I just ordered a couple little hanks of off of knit crate. I also, or, um, went out to my very, favorite local yarn shop um, blizzard yarn and fiber love you guys and i picked up a couple things um, they had a sale i picked up something on sale and a couple things that were not but still totally worth it because you'll see why but we will start off with my knit crate package um, i have learned that this tab actually is not for opening um so i'll just use my scissors and pray that I'm not actually cutting into any of my yarn. No, I'm not. That's okay. Boop. Now, I only got two hanks of this, and ooh, but it's awfully pretty. Oh man, I might actually eat more of this. Okay, I only got two hanks of this, but um, oh. All right, so this is Dove Stone Natural. Okay, now this word, you guys, is it Aaron? or Iran, or Iran, or a combination of any of those in between. But I, it's by Ba Ran Yu, Ba Ran Yu, and this is called Shade 2, <laughs> and I got two hanks of this, like I said, um, because it was on a fantastic sale. Now, what I'm regretting <laughs> is I also have two other hanks of this in a different shade sitting in my cart on knit crate and i'm just waiting for them to come out with another discount code because i don't know why i didn't buy them when i did but i didn't and now i'm just waiting for that the next discount code to come along so i can plug it in and get my yarn because i actually really really like this um okay so this this is 50 percent ew this sounds cool all right, I'm certain it's all, it's 100% wool, but it is 50% blue-faced Lester, Lister, y'all, again, these words, what, it, what is going on here? 25% Winsleydale long wool and 25% Masham, Masham words. But there's 185 yards in this and it is a um, needle size 4.5, Sorry, um, yeah, 4.5 to 5 millimeter needles or a US 7, size 7 to 8. Um, but so it's a it's a good size. Like it's, I wanted something a little bit more bulky. The beautiful yarns I've been getting from Knit Crate and subscriptions have all been very fine. Um, lovely, but fine and very, very tiny. And I, <laughs> I was so grateful that this month in the regular subscription, it was something, it was a worsted weight because I have needed something a little bit more bulky to actually slap on my looms, make something beautiful, but make something that kind of went quickly. <laughs> Cause I, I've been needing to feel that 
high of finishing a project. I haven't felt that way in a while because I've been working so hard on beautiful, intricate things. I really needed something that I could do fast um, just to feel like I have accomplished something. These are super soft and it's a really, really pretty neutral light color. Um, and I have some plans for this. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hear my baby just woke up, so he may be coming down here as a little terror in a minute. Um, so that was what I got from Knit Crate. Now, here he comes. <laughs> he just woke up from his nap, and he's a little cranky. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, we're okay for a few minutes. Let's try to get through this. So, I had my order from Knit Crate, just a couple of things, but I'm hoping to order more. Um, I also visited Blizzard Yarn and Fiber, which is my local yarn shop that supplies me with all of my like local dyers, indie dyers, um, and um, just a plethora of other high quality fibers that I don't necessarily find at the um, big chains, um, craft chain stores. So it's nice. <laughs> Y'all, my children are still here. <laughs> They're gonna make noise. I'll just try to get through this. It's just for fun. Uh, so here's one of the, the hanks that I got from Blizzard. This is by Blue Moon, and it is um, called Single Silky Targhi. Targhi? Targhi? I don't know, y'all. T A R G H E E. And it is, but it's wool. It's 70% Targhi wool. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but it's um, then 30% unbleached uh, Tussa silk, Tussa, I don't know, but it's a hand painted fiber and there is about 696 yards in here and this colorway is called egg planted and y'all if, if you've caught on yet I am a purpley purple girl. I love purple and so this has a range of like eggplant purples into light purples into almost an orange um, purple. <laughs> wow! I love it. Um, this is totally, totally me. Um, and it's big. It's a um, larger um, gauge. It is for, the gauge um, is for five to six stitches per inch. It's about a needle size um, four to five millimeter um, or a six to an eight um, is that crochet hooks, guys? Is my newness showing through needles? See, I thought... I'm not certain. I might have to research that because I just don't quite know. But it says size 6 to 8 needles or a 4.0 to a 5.0 millimeter. Whatever that means. But, so Blue Moon, so it looks like, and it's wool and silk, and it's it feels really cool, and it's it's a nice, thick um, fiber. So I'm excited to use that. I can make something really quite large, or make multiple, <laughs> multiple things with it. Um, a matching set, or a big scarf, or a cowl, or a shawl. Um, make something real pretty with that. Another thing that I got, which was a bit, this is like my level, this is like a level three indulgence. This was on sale. I got this on sale. Good for me. This is like a level two indulgence, okay? This is by Cascade Yarns. Um, and this is called Eco Dual, du Dual, <laughs> Duo. I'm having trouble today, guys. Um, but it is 70% undyed baby alpaca and 30% undyed merino wool. And there's about 197 yards. And this is crazy super soft and it's, it's kind of fuzzy, but it feels so good. And I loved the black and the brown because fall is coming up and I specifically thought of this for like something like a hat or a, a cowl. I didn't get enough to make a scarf or a shawl, but I was definitely thinking it's so soft. It feels good against my skin. Like, I don't necessarily want to make a hat because it's touching your hair. And you can't always feel it on your hair. 
and it's so soft. I was like, I want to feel this on my skin. So I'm thinking I want to make like a cowl or something with this. So that's that's another thing I got. Level two indulgence. Level one is coming up. Okay. Now, for me, I got two of these. I got two of these. It's um, Allegria, Superwash Merino, and Polymide. Now, Polymide is just another name for basically nylon. Um, so, it's, what is the percentage? I forget. Okay, so it's 75% wool, 25% polymide. I could totally make this into, sock, into like socks and they'd hold up fairly well, but these colors, I couldn't put down. I saw it, these were the last two Hanks in the store, and they were in my hands, and I, I could not put them down. It was like almost to the point where these colors, mm, mm -mm, these speckles, no, no, I wasn't leaving without them. This is mine. And it, it was almost like to a level where I didn't care what it cost. They were coming home with me. And it was just lucky that I had my, my mad money with me to, uh, to invest in these. Because they were a bit of an investment. Also to the level of I'm probably going to make something. And it's going to be mine to keep. Because I love these colors so much. If there was ever a, a hank of yarn that they could just name Lindsay. This would be it. It's the grays, it's the purples, it's the creams. It is, it's speckled, it's indie dye, and I absolutely love this. Um, there's about 445 yards in each of these, um, and it is for, um, 30, 30. the gauge is 28 to 30 stitches for every four inches. Um, but it's really, this is really, really cool. I like this yarn. Um, and it's just, it's just beautiful. I love this so much. Um, I don't have a, any on here. Oh, and I, oh, look at, okay. This is super cool. In the tag, it even says the location of where it was made and the artisan. And this is made in Uru Uruguay. So it, it's come quite a ways to my hands and now it's mine. So I did pay a little bit more for each of these. In fact, both of these together cost me about the same as these two together. So I mean, you can see, you know, a little bit of the comparison, but I love this so much. Oh, this is what I love about having a local yarn shop. And I strongly, shh, sweet children. I strongly encourage you, if you can find a local yarn shop that you can visit, you will find the most beautiful yarns that you will not be able to find at your big um, craft store chains. It's just, it's a different world. And you will get fibers that you could not find anywhere else. Um, there were some fibers in my store that I cannot wait to find. I mean, silks, camels, bison, um, so many kinds of sheep. Um, rabbit, goat, that would be Angora and, you know, cashmere, <laughs> which I've learned. So many fibers, you guys, that are all so different and all so unique, and then coloring and dyeing on top of them, it's just incredible. I admire the craftsmanship that goes into these so much. I really appreciate it. So that's what I've gotten. Those are my new to my stash um, that I will be making some new things that you can watch. Um, to be coming up on the pony in the, the next couple of months. Um, and then finally, just if you have noticed or admired my neckwear today, this is a necklace that was made by um, a, a sweet, sweet gal. Um, her company is called Crystal Quinn Art, and she designs and uh, crafts these gorgeous um, pieces of jewelry. I mean, they are just, they're, they're just beautiful. And this is a piece of pyrite. It's wrapped in sterling silver and it's on a luxury vintage chain that's super soft. I love the feel of this chain. Um, it's, uh, it's not grabbing my little neck hairs. It's not pinching my skin. It just, it lays so comfy and I just love this. So please check her out. 
I will include the link to her um, online, her website in the description. Also, I've got a pretty sweet deal at the Checker Pony this month. If you have $50 worth of inventory and you use, if you've signed up for my email, uh, email list, you will have access to the code MYJULY40. And if you have $50 worth of inventory in your cart, you use that code and you get 40% off of your entire purchase. Y'all, that is covering the cost of shipping and the cost of materials. That is, that is me pretty much giving my stuff away, all right? All it is is asking you to cover the cost of what it costs me to buy my stuff. It's not accounting for the hours of work that I've put into making my items because I want my things to move. I don't want them just to sit around and be useless. I want my things, once I'm done with them, to be rehomed and loved. So I'm really trying to, to motivate um, things to get moving a little bit. So um, keep that in mind. Pop over to the Checker Pony. I'll include that li link in the description as well. And as always, please comment, like, subscribe, share this video. And I will just look forward to talking to you guys soon. Hopefully, very soon, my knit crates, artisan crates, will arrive. And I can show that to you guys because I really want that. So, hopefully soon. All right, you guys, I love you. I hope you have a fantastic week and weekend. And I'll look forward to talking to you later. All right, bye-bye.